He was 25 when Pandit Nehru asked him to join politics. Today, after 60 years in politics, he's been chief minister for six times. At 83, he's now fighting seventh time as the chief minister. And well, I am tired even taking this climb. Let's go inside and find out what keeps the grand old man of the Himachal, Mr. Veer Bhadda Singh, going at even this age. Veer Bhadra Singh readying for the fight of his life. At 83, he's got age and CBI cases weighing him down and the help from the grand old party is limited. Maybe the reason behind Rajaji finally deciding to hang his boots post-election. So before we get on the campaign trail with Veer Bhad Singh, we are here in his house. It's a beautiful property here in Shimla, one of the oldest houses as well. And I think this is going to be a very interesting conversation. We've got an 83-year-old incumbent chief minister and his 25-year-old son who's fighting for the first time. I don't know whom to take the mic to first, but I'll start with you, going with protocol, yeah. sir. Last day of campaigning, lots to look forward to. But this is it just another election for you? Exactly. But you've seen, because you've seen so many. I have seen so many elections. Hmm. And this will, be, this will be certainly my last election. This will be? Hmm. You're saying a very big thing. You're saying this is going to be your last election. And then what is the cue then? That Vikram takes over then? No, no, he will be there. I will be here for the tenure of this election. Hmm. But... Um, uh, after that, goodbye to politics. Goodbye? You're goodbye. hanging your boots so soon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I served, I've served a lot hmm. and I've given my best years of my life hmm. to, to, the, to the state, to the nation. Hmm. And now, the remaining years, I think I must teach to myself. Hmm. And uh, apart from uh, I do something else, hmm. I go and travel. Hmm. I will write my books hmm. and uh, so many years I, I wanted to visit hmm. in Himachal, Himachal Japi, hmm. Nuka and Kondra, I know, but hmm. uh, other states of India hmm. and go abroad and help hmm. uh, to uh, other countries also. My God, that's a big statement coming there saying that he will be hanging his boots, but you, that's where the bait is being passed on to your first election while he's fighting his last. What's the feeling? What is a breakfast conversation inside the house really? No, it's always, uh, he's always been a source of inspiration for me. Hmm. And whatever I am today, it is because of him, obviously. But then he's always taught me to, you know, be very humble in public life and always have a personal connect and hmm. and treat your people not as uh, your, your uh, as your voters, hmm. but as uh, people of your family. I, that's what he rightly said, that he's been in active politics for the last uh, almost 60 years. Hmm. And we have to take that forward. But I, we also understand that this is not a monarchy or this is not a hmm. erstwhile state. We are living in a democratic society we have to earn the trust of the people and I will be uh, working very hard and following what he hmm. whatever he's done in life and continue hmm. with the same yeah but sir tell me did you have to coax Vikram to get into politics or was it his natural choice no it was his natural choice natural choice hmm. you would have been okay if he wasn't a politician what would you tell him one piece of advice to him hmm. one piece of advice to him as he goes no, out to camp you know he, he had cho cho chosen uh, uh, politics Hmm. Uh, uh, by uh, on his own, hmm. I was even happy. Hmm. Uh, whatever profession he he would have uh, adopted, hmm. I would have supported him in that. Uh, yeah. Hmm. If not politics, then what? You were telling me yesterday, shooting is one of those passions you would have pursued. Yeah, actually, I've been a keen sports person. Mm. In, uh, I started with shooting in school and I have played uh, nationals also. Mm. Otherwise, uh, uh, I'm content with my family life. I mm. have my own other works also. Mm. So it is. It is. it was always a natural instinct for me, basically. Mm. See, being uh, grown up in that atmosphere, mm. meeting people since the day I recollect. Mm. So obviously, it was natural for me to jump into uh, politics at one but point Vikram, in time. Uh, tell me, uh, what is the conversation like inside the house? Do you have have differences with your father at times, saying that this is not the technique, not the strategy we should we should. In, in, uh, why, why, uh, together in house, hmm. we never talk, talk politics. You don't talk politics no. at all. Not at all. How is that possible? It's not. It's possible. Let, let me get that answer from you. 
Yeah, we try not to, but at Haan. times uh, we do discuss matters. <laughs> do you give him and, tips? And, and, do you give him tips on Twitter on how to tweet and how to keep yeah, his feet yeah, active? I think he, at this age and at this juncture in his life, he's very active on social media, Haan. whether it is Twitter or Facebook, and hmm. he al he always keeps asking me how to make phone calls. Hmm. He's not very good with uh, <laughs> making phone calls also on the mobile, so Haan. I keep teaching him all of that. Uh, hmm. So I think it is very good that he, you know, trying to be techno savvy and he's trying to learn all all of it, and he hmm. he has a very good uh, uh, grasping power at hmm. uh, you know. He, he, he he's, a, he's always a very keen learner hmm. so that is something very nice so you teach him politics and he teaches you technology that's that's <laughs> that's, true. that's the batter what else have you learned from your 25 year old i think uh, he is very very dedicated worker hmm that you speaking as a father now <laughs> he is a dedicated worker hmm and uh, he takes his work very seriously hmm and uh, if if he has entered politics hmm he will, he has done he has entered politics not for to to become a legislator or something he want to do something for the people hmm serve the people hmm change the the hmm change the sense in you for good yeah no pressure are there no pressure at all coming from somebody like him no no he was never he was never very keen for me to mm. contest he, he as i told you he mm. was he himself is a reluctant uh, politician mm. uh, is that so yeah given his first choice he wanted to be a, a teacher a professor in delhi university because mm. that that's where he studied from it was not by his choice but by uh, our late prime minister mm. pandit nehru who got mm. him into active politics mm. so he, that way is uh, i also i do i am do i am quite keen mm. because i have seen what uh, it is and mm. i have want to take forward that legacy mm. but then obviously i am not uh, i don't want to be there just to be a politician mm. it is just because the legacy that my father has whatever mm. good he's done to the mankind mm. you have to take the baton forward and you mm. have to carry on with the good work and people mm. have a lot of expectations from the family so i think uh, that trust that the people of himachal pradesh has mm. reposed in our family mm. in him is, uh, in particular mm. that needs to continue Hmm. so that is how it, i see it well he's speaking like he's a seasoned politician clearly looks like clearly looks like you've given him all the right teachings we'll go for your rally and we'll see how it is sir but one word would you like to say to your opponents today on the last day of campaigning what would that be you see on the part of congress party hmm. our campaign has been very uh, mainly hmm. we are not you uh, have used the thing is for anybody we have not talked either of anybody hmm. hum ye janab se baat karte hain hmm. i am very shocked the way the bjp campaign was uh, conducted hmm. especially uh, one one does not expect a uh, uh, very harsh and uh, uh, very rude uh, language uh, from uh, the prime minister prime minister hmm. Hmm. but uh, sir what are you feeling alone today that you had to fight this campaign take the burden on your own shoulders not a lot of help from the center on this one people oh, has himachal suffered because of gujarat should i say should i ask that no no we have not suffered hmm. we have done genuine lesson hmm i, I, I now I, i know much more about mr modi than ever before hmm i know who modi is hmm that i know hmm and how he, and he can he can cross any limits to hmm. achieve his you go hmm all right we'll get on the campaign trail now with uh, mr veer bhadra singh and see how campaigning for the last time will be like and it's not been easy with focus on gujarat himachal and veer bhadra singh have been left to campaign all alone with no help from the congress central leadership He has addressed over 90 rallies already but by his own admission has no money to even advertise. In fact the situation is so bad that the CM had no availability of choppers and at this age is forced to travel on the road. So we are on the campaign trail of Veer Bhadra ji uh, campaigning for the last election on the last day of campaigning. Tell me what's going on in your mind right now? At present, I'm at peace. Yeah. 
Sita, tell me, do you feel that you had to fight a lonely battle this time with the hen- with the center not being of much help? Rahul Gandhi is coming here one day out of the entire, you know. No, other center leaders have come. Hmm. I mean, many many prominent center leaders hmm. have come and hmm. and uh, campaigned in various parts of the state. Tell me, what did Pandit Nehru tell you to convince you to come into politics? No, it was an interesting thing. Hmm. I had no interest in politics at all. Huh. Destiny will otherwise. I was pers- 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 persuaded by uh, Lal Bahadur Shastri Ji, hmm. who was a senior cabinet minister at that time. Hmm. And uh, what did he tell you? He said, uh, "What do what do what do um, uh, may, 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 Professor would not tell him. Hmm. profession then, then. then he laughed. He said, "No, this this life of yours, you have to, you have to dedicate to the service of the nation." Hmm. Then he took me to Indraji, hmm. and then he both took took me to Bananero, hmm. and uh, it, it was okay that I would be the Congress candidate from Mahasu. Hmm. Parliamentary constituency in 1962. Hmm. 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 That was the end of the So you were just told? Uh, uh, they just uh, took you there and they told you? I was, I was told, I don't tell anybody. Hmm. When they announced, uh, the candidate was announced hmm. for Himachal Pradesh. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. My name, my name was hmm. included in that. Hmm. I was myself surprised. We had talked two years back. Earlier. Yeah. And what is this one mantra you want to tell them if they want to remain in politics as long as you for 60 years, become chief minister six times? What will be your key but, mantra? Man, in any, it's not politics. Hmm. It, it, it is in any profession. Hmm. When you enter a hmm. business house hmm. Hmm. or government service hmm. or private service, do so with humility. Keep your eyes open, ears open, hmm. learn from people, hmm. learn to respect. All right, we will now get on the campaign trail and see Mr. Veer Bhadra Singh campaign on the last day of his last campaign. Raja nahi fakir hai, Himachal ki takdeer hai. Raja nahi fakir hai, Himachal ki takdeer hai. Raja Veer Bhadar Singh Jindabad 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 Raja Veer Bhadar Singh Jindabad 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 Amid the shower of flowers here song and dance Veer Bhadar Singh is still the most popular leader here in Himachal Pradesh His reception is like no other Look at the queues of people who've lined up in this remote area of Arki to come and see him Behind you all 